The Global Teaching Prize. The prestigious award is considered the Nobel for educators. They're already talking about this as the Nobel for teachers. It was a prize for teaching excellence. A million dollar prize recognizing an outstanding contribution. The most important thing this prize has done is to reawaken the world's appreciation of the importance of teachers. When each of us thinks about what we can do in life, chances are we can do it because of a teacher. They spark curiosity within a child and nurture the dreams that can change our world for the better. Being a great teacher requires resilience, ingenuity and a generous heart. All of you who are the finalists in this year's Global Teacher Prize, congratulations. Un niño tiene derecho a jugar y parte de la educación es enseñar a jugar a los chicos. Like all of you, our foundation believes in the power of teachers to transform students' lives. A good teacher holds the power to influence, inspire, and shape a young person's life for the better. And the winner is Ranjit Desali from India. I can tell you right now from where I stand with all my experience, the real superheroes are teachers. They're the ones that change the world. The Global the Teaching Prize. The prestigious Prize. award is considered the Nobel for Educators. They're already talking about this as the Nobel for Teachers. It was a prize for teaching excellence. A million dollar prize recognizing an outstanding contribution. The most important thing this prize has done is to reawaken the world's appreciation of the importance of teachers. When each of us thinks about what we can do in life, chances are we can do it because of a teacher. They spark curiosity within a child and nurture the dreams that can change our world for the better. Being a great teacher requires resilience, ingenuity, and a generous heart. All of you who are the finalists in this year's Global Teacher Prize, congratulations. Un niño tiene derecho a jugar y parte de la educación es enseñar a jugar a los chicos. Like all of you, our foundation believes in the power of teachers to transform students' lives. A good teacher holds the power to influence, inspire, and shape a young person's life for the better. And the winner is Ranjit Desali from India. I can tell you right now from where I stand with all my experience, the real superheroes are teachers. They're the ones that change the world.
The Global Teaching Prize. The prestigious award is considered the Nobel for educators. They're already talking about this as the Nobel for teachers. It was a prize for teaching excellence. A million dollar prize recognizing an outstanding contribution. The most important thing this prize has done is to reawaken the world's appreciation of the importance of teachers. When each of us thinks about what we can do in life, chances are we can do it because of a teacher. They spark curiosity within a child and nurture the dreams that can change our world for the better. Being a great teacher requires resilience, ingenuity and a generous heart. All of you who are the finalists in this year's Global Teacher Prize, congratulations. Un niño tiene derecho a jugar y parte de la educación es enseñar a jugar a los chicos. Like all of you, our foundation believes in the power of teachers to transform students' lives. A good teacher holds the power to influence, inspire, and shape a young person's life for the better. And the winner is Ranjit Desali from India. I can tell you right now from where I stand with all my experience, the real superheroes are teachers. They're the ones that change the world. The Global the Teaching Prize. The prestigious Prize. award is considered the Nobel for Educators. They're already talking about this as the Nobel for Teachers. It was a prize for teaching excellence. A million dollar prize recognizing an outstanding contribution. The most important thing this prize has done is to reawaken the world's appreciation of the importance of teachers. When each of us thinks about what we can do in life, chances are we can do it because of a teacher. They spark curiosity within a child and nurture the dreams that can change our world for the better. Being a great teacher requires resilience, ingenuity, and a generous heart. All of you who are the finalists in this year's Global Teacher Prize, congratulations. Un niño tiene derecho a jugar y parte de la educación es enseñar a jugar a los chicos. Like all of you, our foundation believes in the power of teachers to transform students' lives. A good teacher holds the power to influence, inspire, and shape a young person's life for the better. And the winner is Ranjit Desali from India. I can tell you right now from where I stand with all my experience, the real superheroes are teachers. They're the ones that change the world. Bonjour and welcome to Paris. Wherever you are in the world, we welcome you to the seventh Global Teacher Prize ceremony. We are absolutely thrilled that the city of Paris has been chosen to host this very special tribute to the world's teachers. It was right here in Paris, in the early 18th century, that the Age of Enlightenment began, with its bold ideas spreading fast in the salons of our capital. Our world today, just as back then, is confronting many great challenges. So once again, we need to open our minds to new ways of thinking so we can face the future with confidence. It is now my great pleasure to introduce you to the Director General of UNESCO, Ms. Audrey Azoulay, 
speaking to you from the UNESCO headquarters at the Place de Fontenoy in Paris. Merci Isabelle, and thank you to everyone for joining us today to support the most fundamental of professions, teaching. I welcome you to UNESCO House, the United Nations home for education, culture, science and information. Our organization is founded on the belief that all of us here share, that education can change the world and build peace. That is why UNESCO is a proud partner of the Global Teacher Prize. Today, we will celebrate the work of an exceptional teacher who has changed many lives. Through this prize, we will also celebrate the work of the 100 million other teachers and educators around the world. On the front lines of the pandemic, they have worked with dedication and inventiveness to ensure that learning never stops. Teachers are the bedrock of our societies. Therefore, we must put them at the heart of the recovery. This means holding them in higher esteem, paying them better and training them better. Making the profession more attractive is essential today when the world needs an additional 69 million teachers to achieve the goal of quality education for all by 2030. Only by backing teachers today, we can protect our tomorrow. Thank you very much and enjoy this ceremony. Merci. It's not possible for children any longer to just understand their own communities. They need to understand the world. Whenever I'm working with young people, my goal is to be able to give them the tools that they need to be masters of their own destiny. My calling in life is to make sure that every single child reaches their full potential, that I unlock that. To be a great teacher, you have to be creative, embrace technology. You really have to promote those modern ways of teaching. You have to do more and talk less. I just wanted to create a learning environment for every student. Girls' education is more than just getting them in the school. It's more about feeling safe in the community, in the society. It is my absolute joy to host this year's Global Teacher Prize ceremony. In particular, I feel honored to host this ceremony from UNESCO's headquarters, an organization that fights to protect our most precious values, education, culture, and freedom of expression. We have seen how these values bring people together and inspire hope, something we can all aspire to. Our message is very simple. Hope always begins with education, which is why this year we are, for the very first time, shining a light on both teachers and their students. Today, as well as announcing the winner of the Global Teacher Prize, we will also announce the winner of the new Czech.org Global Student Prize. Both these prizes have been launched to highlight the importance of education in tackling the challenges ahead. I would now like to introduce Ms. Stefania Giannini, Assistant Director General for Education at UNESCO. Thank you, Isabel. I'm here in the UNESCO Library, which, like so many libraries around the world, has been shut during the pandemic. Sadly, we have seen 1.6 billion learners around the world affected by the COVID. And yet students everywhere have shown great strength, focus, determination to keep learning and keep fighting for the future. While they deserve huge praise and recognition for never giving up. Which is why we are thrilled to see the launch of the new Global Student Prize, which will recognize their extraordinary force. But for every student to realize their full potential, they of course need a great teacher. COVID-19 has given us all a chance to pause and reflect. We have learned many things. We have learned who and what matters most to us. 
there is perhaps now a small window of opportunity for the next generation to make a better world than the one they inherited. If we back our teachers and we back our students, then together they can remake the future with greater equality, peace and justice. And slowly, amid the storm clouds, they will be able to look up and see blue skies once again. Thank you. Muchos niños y niñas hoy tienen que enfrentar el desafío de aprender a sobrevivir en un mundo de carencias. La escuela es su lugar, es donde pueden encontrar una ventana para ver el mundo y conocer otras alternativas. من به عنوان یک معلم وظیفه خودم میدونم که امید ایجاد بکنم برای بچه‌ها که برای آیندهشون تلاش بکنم. My philosophy is that the classroom is a microcosm of the world and the world is your classroom. Lo imposible es posible y que nosotros como docentes estamos ahí para acompañarlos en esos trayectos. As a young energy enthusiast, I wanted to bring a sustainable energy system that can stop the overuse of natural resources. I co-create a system to increase milk production in subsistence areas of developing countries. A close friend of mine and I decided to take this community service class that was all about just doing something positive for your community. When we launched, there was four people on our team, and now Equal works with over 100 people day to day on our operations. Service of self is the core of everything I do. I've used my voice to get parliamentary receptions and the articles for the United Nations Prime Reports, or to create a national conversation around student hardship and sustainability. I've always thought that the bullying was a problem because it creates differences and suffering between the young people. I would like to export to the whole world my good practices to be able to fight combat the bullying and the cyberbullying. I will not rest until I make sure that I'm leaving this world more equal than I came into it before. Empowering a woman is empowering the whole community. That is as what has led to me building my passion, using my source of empowerment, my knowledge, my experience to make sure that my community is a safe space. I have been able to empower over 225,000 people, especially young people, across 25 countries. Plant more than 300,000 trees across the world, over 7,000 mangroves, helping to rebuild ecosystems. I have been able to pay the school fee for three of my cousins uh, through coaching and leading workshops as well. I have led workshops on menstruation, personal hygiene, child marriage, domestic violence. I want to help other girls realize their abilities as well. One thing that defines me is that I am a passionate advocate for women's and girls' rights. We are the leaders of today. Now we come to the moment where we celebrate those who hold the future in their hands. And make no mistake, young people today have a lot to accomplish. They are the first truly global citizens and can effect real change if they are given the right support. To introduce the Czech.org Global Student Prize, I would like to welcome Dan Rosenzweig, the CEO and President of Czech. <laughs> For years, we at Chegg have known how incredible students are. And that is why we were absolutely thrilled to partner with the Varkey Foundation to create the new Chegg.org 
Global Student Prize to show the whole world how amazing they are and the fantastic work they are doing. While many stakeholders are busy debating, students all around the world are busy doing. Most importantly, we launched this prize to showcase their stories, understand their struggles, and hear their voices. After all, it is their dreams that will build our future. In our inaugural year, we had an incredible 3,500 applications and nominations from 94 countries around the world. Students who applied were being assessed on everything from their academic achievement to how they make a difference in their community to how they harness their creativity and innovation to make real change. After months of deliberation, we announced a top 50 shortlist and then a final 10. So now it is my pleasure to introduce the top 10 finalists of the Global Student Prize 2021. They come from Brazil, Canada, India, Italy, Kenya, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, United Arab Emirates, the United Kingdom, and the United States. It is my absolute honor to welcome all of you to this ceremony. Congratulations and welcome. Each of you have made a huge impact in areas from the environment to equality and justice to ending poverty. All of your stories deserve to be celebrated and we look forward to seeing how you will continue to shape the world for the better. I wish you all the very best of luck. And now we come to a very special moment. I am delighted to introduce actor and humanitarian, Mr. Hugh Jackman, to announce the winner of the inaugural Chegg.org Global Student Prize. Thank you, Dan, and all the team at Chegg for everything you do for students. In 2019, which now seems a lifetime ago, I was incredibly proud to host the Global Teacher Prize Ceremony and announce the winner. It was a wonderful celebration of the teaching profession, a cause that is very close to my own heart. And I'm now absolutely thrilled to be welcome back to speak to you again, and this year, I'm particularly excited to be part of announcing the winner of the new Chegg.org Global Student Prize, which spotlights the achievements of extraordinary students around the world. This prize could not be more timely. Students everywhere are fighting for their very future. They are part of a generation that are on the front line of the greatest challenges of our time, from climate change to global inequality. So we must listen to their voices and shine a light on their stories. To every dedicated student around the world working hard to build a brighter future, we thank you for everything you do while still pursuing your education. And now we come to the moment where we announce the winner of the Global Student Prize 2021, where we honor one exceptional student that has made a real impact on learning, the lives of their peers and on society beyond. Someone who will use this platform to give voice to the students all over the world. And of course, with the title comes $100,000 award. So I am delighted to announce that the winner of the inaugural Chegg.org Global Student Prize is Jeremiah Tharonka from Sierra Leone. <laughs> Congratulations, Jeremiah. You've made an enormous difference to your community and far beyond. I'm sure that you will now use this incredible platform to make an even bigger impact. On behalf of all of us, we wish you the very best of luck. So Jeremiah, that was uh, Hugh Jackman, who wanted to let you know personally that congratulations, my friend. You are the actual winner of the Chegg.org student prize and a hundred thousand dollars how do you feel my friend i feel amazing i feel um so much hopeful for what i do it's it's amazing it's wonderful words can't express how i feel right now about this congratulations i mean just thank you for being you and for what you're doing um i'm, I'm just honored to know you from chegg and the varky foundation congratulations both my parents were teachers. They came to Dubai in 1959 from Kerala. As we were growing in Dubai, uh, we only thought it natural that as God has been kind to you, you know, you also got to be kind to the world and create a structured way of giving. And therefore we, we formed the, the Barkey Foundation. The mission of the Barkey Foundation is that every 
child deserves a good teacher. Since 2015, there have been six winners of Global Teacher Prize. And today, we'll announce our seventh. All previous winners will tell you the same thing. The greatest gift that Global Teacher Prize provides is a seat at the top table. A real voice to make an impact in our community and far beyond. Let's now take a look at the incredible impact that each Global Teacher Prize winner has made since lifting up this wonderful trophy. I was delighted, honored, and just shocked. Pope Francis announced my name. I felt like I had wings. I mean, the announcement came from the space station and it felt out of this world. Maggie McDonald. It's like time stood still, and I'll never forget that moment. Andrea Zafiraku. The winner, Peter Tabachi. I still remember the moment I never imagined this could happen in real to be a Global Teacher Prize winner. The world needs great teachers to grow great minds. That's why we have created a million dollar prize. The Global Teacher Prize gave us this incredible platform to shine a spotlight on the hundreds of thousands of stories of incredible teachers that are making a difference day in, day out in the lives of their students and in the lives of their communities. What the Global Teacher Prize did was it gave me a sense of community with teachers all around the world. The platform itself, the power it has, I don't think can be defined financially. After winning the Global Teacher Prize, that created so many opportunities and privileges. I visited the Oval Office, met the President of the United States of America. I've also had an opportunity to address World Economic Forum, World Bank, United Nations General Assembly. The way society, community, the media, government has responded, that's what the biggest impact, I think. I had been invited as an advisor to World Bank's Global Coach Program. OECD has also appointed me as their advisor for the climate change programs. Maggie McDonnell, on behalf of all Canadians, and from one teacher to another, congratulations on winning the Global Teacher Prize 2017. My students, since winning the prize, have traveled with me to Chile, to Argentina, to Iceland, to Norway. They've met with prime ministers and spoke at the United Nations. Global Teacher Prize allowed me to talk about my experience on Harvard, Helsinki, Cambridge. On behalf of everyone in the United Kingdom, my warmest congratulations to Andrea Zafiraku on winning the Global Teacher Prize. My parents came to the palace, my husband came to the palace, my daughters, and they met, you know, the royal family. You can't buy moments like that. I get quite a lot of those incredible opportunities because of the prize. Congratulations to all the Global Teacher Prize winners. Soon we will announce the winner of the Global Teacher Prize 2021 and we look forward to seeing how they will use this incredible platform. But first, I'm very excited to talk to the top 10 finalists. From 121 countries, we received over 8,000 nominations and applications. And now we have 10 finalists. They have been selected based on how they improve student outcomes, innovate, introduce scalable practices, share their knowledge, make an impact in the community, and develop global citizens. 
all over the world, from Europe to Latin America to Africa, working in cities, villages, and even in the mountains. But they all share one very special quality. They are all dreamers. They all believe that a better world is possible, which is why they work so hard to give their students the chance to make a difference. Prepare to be inspired. Let's watch the heroic journeys of our top 10 finalists. Siempre me, me interesó ser maestra, siempre quise ser maestra. Nunca me imaginé haciendo otra cosa. Yo considero que la mejor forma de aprender es estando en contacto directo con diferentes tipos de recursos en diferentes ambientes, conocer cosas que pasaban en el mundo. For me, it's about engagement, and that's what I've been able to see in my students. People protect what they love, and so I just want them to fall in love with the environment. I hope that by planting that seed early on with them, it leads them to also be caring adults who continue to contribute to the world. There's so many ways we can improve the world, and we can start it in the classroom. Deep in my heart, I'd like to be a teacher for the rest of my life. I'd like to be a change maker. St. Vincent School is unique in itself because it is only one of four schools in the United Kingdom set up for curriculum for children with a visual impairment. We have a number of students who represent their country and have been able to travel the world with their skills at Paralympic level. It's making our students aware of global issues and that they can have a voice. Los retos más importantes de la zona es desarrollar las competencias y encontrar el talento en los estudiantes para acompañarlos y que desarrollen lo que requiere el sector productivo. Así es de que combino eh, los conocimientos de las neurociencias con las nuevas técnicas de enseñanza para generar educación basada en evidencias. After my university education, I was sent to Swedish School of Business. They were struggling with truancy, especially students avoiding mathematics class. With the help of the technology that I use in teaching, students enjoy learning mathematics. And so the idea of running away from class actually curtailed. Et en tant que professeur, je pense qu'aujourd'hui, il faut vraiment mettre en avant les, les professeurs passionnés dont la vocation leur permet de, de, de déplacer des montagnes. Donc je veux développer la méthode de la classe autonome, je veux créer un centre de formation pour les enseignants. Je pense qu'une bonne méthode peut tout changer. Every child deserves a champion, an adult who will never ever give up on them, who insists that they become the best they can possibly be. The students I teach remind me so much of myself. Their stories are my story. I'm willing to go above and beyond for my students because at the end of the day, their success is my success. We make sure that our students understand all of the concepts around the globe that could impact the future for themselves and other people around the world. I firmly believe that our future leaders are right here in our classrooms and the way that we can make the world a better place is by giving them the best education we possibly can. با توجه به امکاناتی که در اینجا هست سعی کردم تدریس سنتی و الکترونیکی رو با هم تجمیع بکنم و عشق و علاقه بچه ها رو به تحصیل بیشتر بکنم. فقط سعی کردم وظیفه انسانی ما بهش عمل بکنم. Ten truly remarkable human beings. So let's meet them. It is my great pleasure to introduce the top 10 finalists of the Global Teacher Prize 2021. Here they are, beaming in from every corner of the planet, from Argentina, Australia, Canada, France, Ghana, Iran, Mexico, Philippines, the United Kingdom, and the United States of America. First of all, let's meet Anna from Argentina. Anna, how does it feel to be a finalist? Eh, siento mucha emoción, mucha felicidad. 
y estoy muy agradecida con la Fundación Barqui por este reconocimiento y la valoración de mi trabajo. Thank you, Anna. Brianna, from Canada, how are you doing? Hello, from Canada. Hello. I'm wonderful, thank you. Next, it's time to meet Brian from the Philippines. Hi, I'm from Lapu-Lapu City, Philippines. Mabuhay to everyone. Wonderful. I know your country very well, by the way. From the United Kingdom, let's meet David. Hello, warm way from Liverpool, and it's lovely to be here. Thank you. And for you, how does it feel to be a finalist, David? It's wonderful to be a finalist and ex extremely overwhelming. You can be very proud. And from Mexico, Diana, a warm welcome to you. How are you? Hello, I, I'm really good. I feel very happy and excited, but very inspired for all of my uh, partners. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Evans from Ghana. It's nice being part of this great um, community of teachers, and I feel honored, and thanks to Bucky Foundation for giving us this great platform to so high. Wonderful. Thank you, Evans. Next, we have Julien in France. How are you feeling, Julien? I'm very excited and very happy to be uh, uh, in part of this. And uh, it's wonderful to, to meet passionate teachers all around the world. You bet. Thank you very much, Julien. Now let's welcome Keshia from the USA. How does it feel to be a finalist? It feels extraordinary to be a part of such a great league of extraordinary teachers. I am so happy and grateful to the Markey Foundation for acknowledging us and just pushing us in the spotlight to tell our stories. Thank you. Thanks to you, Keshia. All the way from Australia, we have Rebecca. How are you feeling right now? I'm very excited and grateful to be able to showcase the wonderful things that teachers do and to be able to learn from the other finalists as well. Thank you, Rebecca. And last but not least, from Iran, a very warm welcome to you, Soraya. Manam salam nikonam be tak tak muallimai ki bala madam muallim ki na man inaro rahbaran tagir jamie midunam. Khushkaram ki tu in team karar giraftam. Thank you, top ten finalists. So now we have met our ten finalists. It can only mean one thing that we're almost ready for the moment you have all been waiting for. But before we announce the winner of the Global Teacher Prize 2021, we would like to present a special musical performance. I would like to introduce 13-year-old singer and pianist Naomi Aye, a shining star whose wonderful talent shows us what young people can do. Naomi became a viral sensation for her interpretation of Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody from The Voice Kids France. Dedicated to the bravery of teachers and students everywhere, Naomi has chosen to sing Courage to Change by Sia.
this You're not alone, I brought this And then together we can do anything I want to leave you better I want my life to matter I am afraid I have no purpose here Rain or falls, rain or falls Pouring on me in the rain or So in the seeds of love and hope, love and hope, we don't have to stay stuck in the weeds. Have I the courage to change? Have I the courage to change? Have I the courage to change today? Have I the courage to change? Have I the courage to change? Thank you, Naomi, for that wonderful tribute to the world's teachers and students. And now we reach the climax of this year's ceremony, the moment where we announce the winner of the Global Teacher Prize 2021, where we honor a truly exceptional teacher that has made an outstanding contribution to the profession. And of course, with the title comes a $1 million award the winner of the Global Teacher Prize 2021 is Keshia Thorpe from the United States of America. <laughs> Huge congratulations, Keshia. Before I invite you to say a few words, we have a special congratulatory message from Ban Ki-moon, who served as the eighth Secretary General of the United Nations and is now the founder of the Ban Ki-moon Center for Global Citizens. Congratulations, Keshia Thorpe, on this incredible achievement. This is a testament to your hard work and sacrifice over many years. You have changed the lives of your students who are first-generation Americans, immigrants, and refugees. You have shown them the life-changing potential of a good education, and you have opened the door to their futures. You now have an incredible gift and opportunity. You have the chance to become an international ambassador for education and to help others learn from your success. This is important because with the huge problems we face today, we don't just need to expand education. We also need to reimagine education. And today, our international community is asking itself fundamental questions about how it should face global threats like the COVID-19 pandemic and climate change. But your achievements illustrate the simple truth that education is the single most effective way to prepare the next generation to face these challenges and the others that they will surely face. Education empowers people to fight against injustice, look after their health, develop green technologies, boost opportunities for women, and choose peace over conflict. Governments must make education a priority. However, without teachers like you, that work would all be for nothing. But tonight is your night, 
and you should celebrate. Once again, my warmest congratulations to you, your students, and your school. They will all share in your success. I'm certain that you will make them very proud. Thank you. Thank you, Ben Ki-moon, for that powerful message. Keshia, I would now like to invite you to say a few words. The world is listening. Thank you, God, for this proud moment. It is an honor to be chosen to be the Global Teacher Prize winner to Mr. Sonny Varki, the Varki Foundation, and UNESCO. Thank you for your leadership and vision in spotlighting and honoring the great work teachers across the globe are doing and to elevate the status of the teaching profession. To my distinguished guests, my fellow top 10, the top 50 League of Extraordinary Teachers and all teachers across the globe, I recognize you for being so relentless in ensuring that all children you teach have the opportunity to access and experience a quality education that will prepare them for a better way of life. To my wonderful supportive family, my country, my school, I also recognize you. Education is a human right and all children should be entitled to have access to it. So this recognition is not just about me, but about all the dreamers who work so hard and dare to dream of ending generational poverty. This is to encourage every little black boy and girl that looks like me and every child in the world that feels marginalized and has a story like mine and felt they never mattered. We must ensure all students have the opportunity to succeed and no laws or policies should strip them of that. This is also for every teacher across the globe who shows up every day in the classroom to teach their students and transform their lives. Every child needs a champion, an adult who will never ever give up on them, who understands the power of connection and insists they become the very best they can possibly be. And this is exactly why teachers will always matter. Teachers matter. Thank you. Thank you, Keshia. I'd now like to ask you a few questions. Firstly, how does this moment feel and what does it mean for you? As a young girl, um, from coming from the circumstances that I come from, I would never have thought that something like this ever happened to me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless, I'm overjoyed, I'm amazed, I'm, this is just an extraordinary, extraordinary accomplishment for me, and this validates everything that I've done in my life up to this point, and I just thank God for this moment. And you now have this incredible platform and new voice in global education. What do you hope to achieve in the weeks and months ahead? I want to be able to use this platform to gain a seat at the table, to advocate at the highest level for my students because they deserve it. Every student deserves the right to an education. And I want to be that person who champion that for them. Thank you, Keshia. And thank you for all the incredible work you do and the inspiration you provide. That now concludes the seventh Global Teacher Prize Ceremony. I would like to thank everyone that has taken the time to tune in. We'd like to leave you with some of the messages that are coming in from around the world. Congratulations, Keshia, for extraordinary achievements. And so it leaves me to thank her and every single teacher in the world. After all, teachers light the path to a brighter future. On behalf of Education Cannot Wait and all who care about education, let me offer my warmest congratulations to Keisha Thorpe for winning the 2021 Global Teacher Prize. Keisha's inspirational story reminds us of the critical importance of teachers and education, particularly in these difficult times. Let us fight for education and for the future of every child. I am delighted to congratulate Jeremiah Thoronka, a Syrian Union for winning the 2021 Global Student Prize. He has dedicated himself to improving his community, his country, and to addressing issues like pollution and climate change. 
Congratulations, Jeremiah. It gives me enormous pleasure to congratulate Ms. Keisha Thorpe for winning the 2021 Global Teacher Prize. Her story has so much to tell us about the need for courage and sacrifice in the face of adversity, but most of all, about the importance of education and teachers. Congratulations, Kasia Torpe, for your incredible achievement. And it's because of teachers like you, not afraid to roll up your sleeves, go into the classroom with your commitment, your passion, and bring them all with you, that makes a difference in this world. I'm very proud of you. Well done.